Welcome to the Art Department, which is a two-teacher department with two specialist art rooms equipped to provide a stimulating and broad-based curriculum. In addition to the traditional curriculum of drawing and painting, GCSE students also explore ceramics, textiles, printmaking, sculpture and ICT whilst experiencing the CCEA specification for GCSE Art and Design. As an art department, we pride ourselves in our excellent results and look forward to working with you to achieve your personal best. The CCEA specification is comprised of two units of work. In Year 11, Component 1, Part A, the Exploratory Portfolio, which is worth 25%, is completed. Students explore a wide range of media techniques and processes whilst demonstrating core knowledge and understanding of the formal elements of art. Component 1, Part B, is also started, which is worth 35%. This involves looking at the creative and cultural industries and the work of artists and designers. Artists workshops and gallery visits take place. Finally, in January of year 12, students complete an externally set assignment based on a stimulus theme released by SIA. Final moderation and exhibition takes place at the end of May in year 12. So why choose GCSE Art? The course is aimed at students who enjoy art and have an aptitude and interest in the subject, who enjoy hands-on activities and participating in visited artists' workshops, who enjoy visiting interesting places, including art galleries, and who hope to take up a career in an exciting creative industry. Let's look at the benefits of choosing art and design. I'm Naomi Cleaver and I'm a designer, writer and broadcaster. I know that studying art subjects can be enjoyable and rewarding. I even think they make you better at other subjects because they help you concentrate and make you think more creatively. But can studying art and design or design and technology really lead to a career? Some people think that there are very few opportunities, but today there are in fact 2.8 million creative jobs in the UK. That's one in 12 jobs. And some people say, oh, you're too clever to study art or design. But most of the UK's brightest talents studied these subjects at school and then at university and went on to a successful career in the creative industries. So what exactly are the creative industries? The creative industries in the UK are huge, dynamic and varied. Architecture, advertising and marketing, book and magazine publishing and fashion, and every type of art and craft design, including game design. Our museums and galleries, and of course the full range of visual and performing arts, including dance, music and theatre, TV, film and radio. The creative industries contribute 84 billion pounds to the UK economy every year. And the sector is large and varied. I am a software designer, an architect. I'm a freelance photographer. I'm an artist. Structural engineer. I'm a designer and art director. Where would we be without all this creative talent? But what about the UK's next creative generation? Well, in the last 20 years, the creative industries have grown faster than any other sector and continue to do so. I want to go into fashion. I want to be a 3D designer. I want to be a photographer. And I want to be an architect. So if you keep studying art, design and technology at school, this will give you a start on your creative journey. You could go on to study them at college, university, or even do an apprenticeship. Hear about lots of different creative careers, including mine, by clicking on the link. Maybe you're destined for a future career in the creative industries. As well as developing your skills, 
in application of number, communication, improving own learning and performance, information on communication technology, problem solving and working with others. Studying art and design will also help develop key transferable skills and qualities which are highly sought after by employers. These include creativity, problem solving, resilience, imagination, empathy and innovation. Art and design also promotes independent learning, personal development and motivation, the ability to find alternative approaches and take risks in creative pursuits as well as aesthetic and intellectual capacities. Higher order thinking skills such as researching, analysing and reflecting are fundamental to this qualification. Finally, art and design also provides students with opportunities to develop key skills needed for the world of work, further in higher education and provides a pathway to a future career in a creative or cultural industry related field. GCSE opens up so many career opportunities. It can lead to further study at A level and third level and the huge range of potential careers listed here could be your future. Many of our past pupils have went on to follow successful careers as artists, designers, craft workers and architects. The creative industries generate 84.1 billion to the United Kingdom economy each year and employs 2.8 million people. That's one in 12 jobs in the creative industries. Could you be one of those future artists of work? Begin your creative journey by choosing GCSE Art and joining the art team of the CBS.